Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, what a day, happy Friday, we made it to the weekend, finally, let's enjoy the next 48 hours, because you know, Monday will be here before you know, but today is Friday, July 28th, that's actually National Chocolate Milk Day, that's right, remember Nesquik, I used to love Nesquik, you know, you never could get that lid off unless you peeled it off with a spoon or a knife, it was so tough back then, I'm not talking about Ovaltine folks, I'm talking about Nesquik. God, I loved it. Well, the Red Sox, they host the Royals over at Fenway Park this weekend. The Red Sox will send Porcello, Rodriguez, and Pomeranz to the hill in hopes of extending their AL East lead over the Yankees. And early today, the Red Sox placed trouble right here. David Price on the disabled list due to elbow inflammation. I've seen this road way too many times, folks. I think the David Price experiment might be coming to an end. That's for sure. And over in Foxborough, day two of Patriots training camp. All eyes were on Bill Belichick today, and, uh, you know, the media was really hounding him out, looking for some type of valuation and everything. I'm going to read you the quote right now, what Belichick said to him. They asked him, how's everybody doing? They look great, all this stuff. And he said, you know what, right now, guys, you guys are asking a lot of questions about where, what we've seen today or what we've seen from this guy or that guy. And the, his main point was, we've yet to put on pads, all right? I understand that this is a pretty talented group of evaluators in this room, but in all honesty, our evaluations come more in training camp when we actually practice and when we can actually fully execute the, the techniques and the plays we're trying to do. So the main thing we try to focus on right now and down the spring and so forth is get everybody into the fundamentals, teach the players everything they need to know. And right now we have some restraints, but once they get the pads on, They'll add the padded practice, and I see he goes on to say that the real training camp does indeed start tomorrow. And I agree, folks. It's day two. You're not going to get your team. You're not going to find out who's who. Probably not until the, the fourth preseason game for all, you know? Anyways, Coach Bill is really feeling the heat, and I'll tell you why he is. Because New England is itching for their sixth Super Bowl, and there's a lot of pressure on this team right now to actually even go 19-0 this season. I, you didn't hear it here first, so. And other NFL news. How about Q QB Andrew Luck? The Colts quarterback, you know he had off-season shoulder surgery? He has yet to even grace the field. He's yet to throw a ball. They think right now there's a lot of stuff going on with him that he might miss more than what's going on. And actually, you know who's out four to six weeks? Your wacko, Joe Flacco, over in Baltimore. He's done. Four to six weeks, back surgery. He's looming. Not sure if that's going to happen. He's got inflammation. He's got disc issues. Right now, it's four to six weeks. But I've seen this way too many times as well. Something else going on there. Well, anyways, news out of Tinseltown. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck are reportedly working on a TV drama to set in Boston. Showtime picked up a pilot for uh, the, what they're calling City on a Hill. It's a fictionalized drama that examines a steep drop in crime and the corruption of the Boston 1990s, dubbed by some as the Boston Miracle. This takes place early in the 90s. Corruption racism was the norm in Boston until an African-American district attorney from Brooklyn arrives in the city advocating for change. And, of course, this all forms an unlikely alliance with yet another corrupt yet venerated FBI veteran who's investigating and maintaining in the status quo. You know, the idea was developed by Affleck and Massachusetts native Jack McLean, who actually wrote the script called Boston Strangler. Remember that one? And he's currently, that one's actually currently in development. Damon Affleck will serve as executive producers, and Gavin O'Connor, who directed Affleck and The Accountant, is actually doing the pilot for the show. He's directing it. Well, the U.S. again detected another missile launch out of North Korea, not only a ballistic missile, 10.45 this morning, I'm, I'm so mad about this, 10.45 maybe this morning, the Pentagon confirmed that they are assessing the launch and will have more information soon. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe told Japanese um, they received the first report that North Korea again launched a missile, possibly landed inside the exclusive economic zone, very dangerous. The Pentagon is still working to assess the type of ballistic missile that was launched. The ongoing assessment from the U.S. intelligence community in recent months has been that North Korea has accelerated very fast. It's intercontinental range ballistic missile program, folks. They got missiles that can reach the U.S. right now. I'm all. It's it's tough. You, you really you got to do something about it. President Trump, get off this healthcare crap. You got to you got to face North Korea. You got to do something about it now. Well, the British baby there, Charlie Gard, the critically ill baby, was taken off life support today, and he has passed away. That's right. He attacked. He attracted the attention of Pope Francis and actually uh, President Donald Trump. He died Friday morning after they took him off life support. He would have turned one week old. Charlie suffered from a rare genetic disease called mitochondrial depletion syndrome, which caused brain damage and left him unable to breathe unaided. His parents, Chris Gard and Connie H. raised more than $1.7 million, 1.3 million pounds over in Europe to take him to the United States for an experimental medical therapy that they thought could prolong his life. Evidently, they, um, the Great Ormond Street Hospital in London objected, saying the treatment wouldn't help him. It'll just make him suffer more. 
Well, they took him off life support today, and he has passed away. And so sorry to hear that. Well, some WWE news. Uh, the back and forth U.S. Championship battle resumed this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live. AJ Styles, who won the title two weeks ago, lost in a battle going to regain the title again this past Tuesday night. He won the triple threat match over Kevin Owens and the returning of a long-awaited return of Chris Jericho. The triple threat main event actually bolstered SmackDown Live's ratings and helped the USA Network in landing, uh, leading the viewership for Tuesday night. The triple threat main event had over one, uh, actually over 9 million viewers on a Tuesday night. That's not too shabby. 9 million viewers tuned in at the highlight of this triple threat main event on SmackDown Live. Not bad. You know, folks, we're getting there. We're climbing slowly. I'm still singing there. i got to get some more YouTube subscribers. you got to visit my page, www.youtube.com slash Joe Lowry. What a day. I know you're out there. It's free. Subscribe. All you can do is hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends. Share my posts. Do whatever you can. Hey, everybody. Enjoy the weekend. I'm Joe Lowry. What a day.